Good day. This is video number 11 in the series Mastering the Encosi System Engineering Handbook in preparation for the Encosi System Engineering Professional Exam. Video number 11 describes Chapter 4.10, The Transition Process. My name is Lance Sherry, and I will be your tour guide for this video. The System Engineering Handbook has processes and activities uh, defined in order to manage the development of complex systems for complex life cycles. The, um, these processes and activities number 59, and they are uh, categorized into seven groups. The topic of this video is the transition process that falls in the technical processes group. So the transition process is sandwiched between the verification process and the validation process. And it's the uh, activity that needs to happen in order for validation process to start uh, by accepting a verified system. And we'll go through the details of that in a second. So the learning objectives for this video are to describe what is the purpose of the transition process, what are the outputs, the inputs, and the process activities. So to put things in context, as we said, the transition process is sandwiched between the verification process and the validation process. In the verification process, the subsystem elements, subsystems, and systems have all been verified, and the system is now ready for validation testing and that is uh, operating the system in the field, performing revenue service mission operations. So no longer in a controlled environment, in a lab, or with controlled experiments uh, in the field. Now we're going to turn the system loose, untether the vehicle, and, um, and make sure that it can operate as needed by the business and mission plan um, in, in the field. So in order for the system to uh, operate in the field, it needs support. It needs training for the operators, and it needs supplies. Um, and so this transition process is the design or the coordination to train the operators and to provide all of the supplies, the fuel, for example, spare parts, um, maintenance training for the, the system to operate in the field. The terminology that's used is that the acquirer, the person, the group, the organization operating the system, accepts custody of the system. And so, um, so that has some contractual meaning, but it also has some liability meaning. And so the, uh, this is a key point in the life cycle uh, when the, the acquirer takes over um, the operation and the responsibility for the system. The System Engineering Handbook uh, formally defines the process as transition process as establishing the capability for a system to provide the services specified by stakeholder requirements in the operational environment. So just to parse that, the uh, transition process is going to provide the services that will be needed to operate the system as it demonstrates its ability to perform the stakeholder requirements in an uh, uncontrolled, uh, open operational environment. So in plain language, what's happening here is that the system is transitioning from the developers to the organization that will operate and support the system, i.e. the acquirers, as the handbook calls them. And in order to do that, it needs to provide all of the support, specifically training and supplies and equipment for the system to operate in the field uh, performing uh, mission operations. The, um, the specific, informa specific equipment and information that's required to operate in the field includes operator training, uh, maintenance training, uh, maintenance equipment, you want to have all of your tools, uh, maintenance spare parts, and then all of the supplies required to run the operation including fuel, cleaning supplies, and anything else you can think of that a system might, might possibly need. So the transition process is the logistical activity of coordinating all of that uh, to make it happen. 
Um, not a very complicated process. Uh, you start off with the um, operator maintainer training material. Uh, you have your verified system with a verification report. Um, the activities that are done is to uh, coordinate the transition. And then at the end of the day, you have an installed system. So the system is now installed in the operator's environment, the acquirer's environment. And you have trained operators, maintainers, and all of the supporting equipment that they, that they need. So that's it for the transition process, a nice short video. So at this point, um, we'd ask you to get a pencil and paper, pause the video, and uh, see what you know. Take, take the quiz and see what you know. When you're done, you un unpause the video and go to the next slide. And this slide here has all of the answers to the, uh, the, to the questions. So pause this, the video, check your answers. So thank you for uh, participating in the uh, transition process. The next video is the validation process. Uh, we'd appreciate it if you could um, click the thumbs up button. Thank you.